The Rumble Town bus stopped at number one Rumble Street. Mrs. Fizzlewizzle climbed on board, carrying her prize strawberries to take to the country fair. The doors closed with a swish and off they went, bumping and bouncing down the Bumble Street. My, my, said Mrs. Fizzlewizzle, this is a very bumpy bus ride. Suddenly the bus bounced to a stop. Honk, honk, honk! The bus driver sounded his horn. Honk, honk yourself! Answered a gaggle of geese. In this bus to the country fair. Yes, it is, said the driver. So Gaggle and the geese waggled on to Rumble Town Bus. At number four, Bumble Street, Mrs. Flapsaddle climbed on. He was carrying two bottles of fresh cream to take to the fair. Good morning, Mr. Flapsaddle. Said the goose nearby, said to the goose nearby, honk, 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 the goose answered. Then the bus started with a jerk and off they went, bumping and bouncing down the bumble, to Bumble Street. My goodness, cried Mr. Flap Saddle, this is a very bumpy, noisy bus ride. When the bump stopped again, it was Granny Smith's pickup truck. My truck won't start, Granny said. And my cat, Grab Apple, and I have to load the prize apples to take to the country fair. Don't worry, said the driver. We can tie your truck to the bus, to the back of the bus, which is going to the country fair. Good idea, Granny said. So they tied the truck to the back of the bus and off they went, bumping and bouncing down to Bumble, down Bumble Street. Hang on to your whiskers, Granny called to Crabapple. They hadn't gone far before the bus stopped. Again, moo, the driver called to the cow. Moo yourself, the cow answered. Is this bus going to the fair? Yes, it is, said the driver. So the cow climbed on board. Oh dear, look at that cow. The last stop was at number six, Bumble Street. Billy McNeil Millie was waiting to take his pet pet was waiting to take his pet goldfish Herbert to the fair. Herbert could swim in perfect circles, and Billy was going to enter him in the pet contest. They squeezed into the bus, and off they went, bumping and bouncing down to Bumble Street, jumping jelly beans cried Billy Lenny. This is a very bumpy, noisy, crowded bus ride. Suddenly the bus stopped again, but this time it did not stop for passengers. It did not stop for a gaggle of geese, a cow, or a broken down pickup truck. It stopped for a hill, a big, steep hill. Oh dear. Everyone out, 
what the bus driver called. We cannot make it up the hill. But how will we get to the fair? Granny asked. I'll pull, said the camel. We'll push, said the others. And we'll honk and let everyone know we're coming, said the geese. So they huffed, and they puffed, and they pushed, and they pulled, and honked, and moved, and finally, the Rumble Town bus was on top of the Bumble Street Hill, and there was the country fair at the bottom. Hooray! Everybody cheered, but before they could get on the bus. It started rolling down the hill all by itself. My birds, cried the driver. My strawberries, cried, cried Miss Fritzwizzle. My cream, cried Mr. Flap Saddle. My apples, cried Granny Smith. Herbert, said Billy McNally. And they ran after Rumble Buck, the Rumble Town bus. It was rumbling and roaring, jiggling and jostling, and bumping and bouncing, faster and faster down the Bumble Street hill. Crash, bang, clang, bump! The bus stopped right outside the rum but Rumble. Town Country Fair. Oh no! Everyone cried when they saw the strawberries and cream and the apples all over the bus. And Herbert wasn't swimming in perfect circles anymore. He was hopping up and down. The judges came to see what happened. One judge wiped some strawberries off the bus. Mmm, delicious strawberry jam. First prize. And he handed Mrs. Fizzle with the blue ribbon. This is the best whisk whipped cream I ever tasted, said another judge. And she handed Mr. Flap Saddle a blue ribbon. Granny Smith won first prize for her apple sauce, and Billy's fish, Herbert, won the best pet prize. After all, he was the only fish at the fair that could hop instead of swim. Everyone clapped and cheered, and they all had a wonderful time at the Rumble Town Country Fair, and it was all because of the very bumpy bus ride. That's the end of our story. Was that a good story?